In this lesson, you will learn how to create and maintain file pre-screening tests using the DI wizard. Pre-screening file tests are basic initial tests that are performed on files before going for exhaustive tests. As you may know, with standard Tosca, we can create a subset of these pre-screening vital checks and field tests, but writing steps for every table and column for large amounts of files and databases is a tedious job. Tosca DI tests can be generated on a large scale using the wizard feature. We want to set up pre-screening tests as soon as we have access to the source data. So we know if there's an issue before we start moving and transforming our data through the warehouse. The wizard will enable us to create these tests quickly and on a large scale. Using the Medicare CSV files provided, we will set up our pre-screening file tests to ensure that the fields have the correct formatting and metadata based on the requirement specification provided. Let's open up our Medicare flat files we are using in this training. When we open up the complications and deaths by hospital, we can have a preview of our data. Let's also open up the hospital.pdf and go to page 26 where we can see the data type requirements for this file. When we open up Tosca, these will map to the pre-screening tests in the template section. We will see it will first load the file into the DI caching database. And in the template itself, we can see the tests available in the test dropdown. We will see these tests in more detail in the DI wizard. These tests cover most of our requirements from the Medicare specification, but there's no specific test to check the start date is in the correct format. We can create our own template for tests not included in the standard template. For example, I have copied our standard template and added an additional check for our specific date format. We have set it up so that this test will be called when we enter the text date underscore format for a selected field. This is one way we can set up our own custom tests to be used in the wizard. We will cover custom template creation in more detail in a later lesson. So now I select the file pre-screening from the data integrity wizard and it'll launch the wizard and guide me through creating my tests. Each wizard will go down a slightly different path. In this case, I'll select my file, which is the hospital. I can change the table name if I want, that'll appear in the data sheet. Say my first row has the header and choose the delimiter. In my case it's comma separated, but we can see some other options. I hit the next button. Now we can choose my tests that are that are mapped to the actual template. So if I come back to my PDF, we'll see for facility ID and facility name, there's some character lengths, 6, 66, 2, and 14. Let's go ahead and enter those in. So for facility ID, it's 6, 66. two and 14. And I can add some additional ones, not included in the spec, but I can do a check to see that they have no empty values, for example. And just by doing this tick box, it will create a test for me. I can do a value range check on the state by separating all the states by semicolon. I've copied them into my notepad now Tosca DI will run that test as well. There's a number of others over here, but let's just jump over to our start date now. We can do our no empty values test. And now what we're going to do is use the value range to say, I want to call my date underscore format test. And if I hit the next button, you can now choose my customized template, automatically create execution lists and our requirements. And Tosca DI will go ahead and create my test for me. I have 11 tests and what it's done is it created us a data driven data sheet for our creation and maintenance. So if any changes come, we can come over here and do updates. You can see my states over there. And all my tests are created here as per the normal Tosca data driven approach. If I come back to my execution list, you'll see the first one tool we're going to load is the file into the caching database. Let's jump to my test. And what we're going to do here is if you notice there was double quotes in the header. So rather than formatting this out in my actual, all my queries in my templates, I can do that in the actual load. 
So I'm going to copy this, go to my test, and what you'll see is we have different cell options. So when you load your files into the caching database, you can do things like lowercase, replace, write, substring, and format the data the way you want. I'm going to trim all the double quotes out, which will make my queries and my tests a bit easier later. But either approach will work. Now that I've done that, I can come over here and I can run my tests. So my tests have started running. If I bring up my DI executor status window, we can see the file has been loaded into the caching database and now my tests are being processed. Great, looking good. So everything loaded correctly and we had one failure. If I come down to my execution list, you'll see my test for maximum length has failed because one of the values was 71. So that was how we would set up our pre-screening tests and we can do this on a large scale 